Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick video on my shower uh, install, and I kind of doing it hindsight. I haven't done a lot of videoing along the way, but I wanted to say this part, and quite honestly, I've got another video clip I'm fixing to add to this, and it kind of says the same thing I'm fixing to say right now, but in that video, I mentioned there's a little bit better of a way, and I'm going to show you that. But I'm going from a 30-inch tub shower enclosure, which I, I hated stepping over, to just a walk-in shower. And I'm using the OVE or O-V-E base from Home Depot. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's spelled O-V-E. You can see how it is. I'm not going to do one of the things they recommend, which is a concrete base underneath it. I'm going to rely on this. I think it's okay. If uh, I, You can check back with me in a couple of years. I'll let you know if it held up. But the main thing most people concerned with, including myself, was could I cut my own concrete and get this pipe out of the ground? And it was not as bad as I thought. Now, I used a couple of things. I used a, a masonry bit and this drill, and then I used this uh, this wheel, this, con this masonry cutting wheel on my side grinder. And, and it's a smaller side grinder. You can do it, and that's what I'm fixing to get to is that right there. But here's how I did it. I took masonry bit. Well, actually, I laid this base down. I put it in there after I got my shower, my tub and shower enclosure pulled out. This was not on there. I laid it down. I took a pencil and I, I drew a line where it had to, how far this pipe had to come over. Because obviously in a 30 inch enclosure, it was about three inches in this direction. So I drew a line and then I took a masonry bit and I just drilled holes in a fashion that would well in, you know incorporate or get around that line I drew and then I took this and that's the only thing I might do different was I used this and it wasn't very deep so I had to make two cuts and I explained that in the video in this minute and what I mean in the other video is this part right here I would have probably used this which will go in a regular skill saw and you could probably do it with one cut, but take my word, I say in another video too, it is a lot of dust. It was a bunch, and expect even more than you're expecting. It was tremendous. But once I did that, I busted with the thing. I'll explain that in a minute. But that's my point. I just wanted to show you it's really simple to do, and uh, depending on how much traction this video gets, I may put up the rest of this install from somebody that's never done it before for the first time. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you that it's doable, and uh, you can have a walk-in shower that you do yourself, and you can cut your own concrete. Now, you know, here comes the next video of probably the same thing I've already said, but doing it again. A <laughs> uh, lot more to it than I thought, so I haven't been that keen on the videos. But I'm going to try and break it down right quick. I cut out my shower tub and shower enclosure, which was here. And I didn't want to mess with my ceiling or my floor if possible. So I picked a 36 by five, uh, 6 foot or 36 by 60 uh, shower pan because I just want to walk in shower. Uh, there's where it was. It was a 30 inch or so tub and shower enclosure. So you can see I had to dig that dirt out. I had to cut my concrete and I ended up moving that pipe over whatever that is off of 30, 3 inches or so. And uh, now uh, that's not glued in. I'm going to, I just refill, I just put the dirt back in that I had removed. And I got some ideas. I want to seal that a little bit better. Now, I'm not going to pour concrete over it, I don't think. <laughs> I may. But I'm I'm going to seal it with something. Just to keep odors or just the, the moisture from coming up. But kind of getting lengthy already. But you can see there's a type drain I'm using. This is the pan I'm using. Now, they recommend uh, a, a, a cement base. I'm not doing it. I've stepped on it many times. I think this is going to be okay. Now, if you want to wait a couple of years and ask me how this did, I'll be able to let you know. But I got it propped up. I'm not crazy about the design. You can see it's an OVE. The only reason I'm not crazy about it is because this screws on, and that makes it where you can make this a left or a right-hand drain by attaching that, that lip to either side. So... Anyhow, that dirt is the original dirt that came out, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to think of anything else that I need to say. But if I do post this video, I will put up everything I did, how I cut the concrete, 
and that type of stuff, which honestly was a concrete saw on a uh, battery operated or a cordless Makita uh, four and a half inch disc grinder. And I'm gonna tell you, no matter how much dust you expect, uh, triple that. <laughs> you could not see from one side of this bathroom to the other. And uh, it was very, very dusty. But I'll show this because this is gonna be covered back up. I drilled holes with a with a drill with a concrete with a masonry drill and then I made cuts along those drilled holes because this came right this was just right here all right and then I had to make I made a cut and then I busted it with that sledgehammer just busted off the face of it and then I had to make another cut once my saw would fit in there better and then uh finally got it to punch out the bottom and you can see what I got I'll show you what I would have done had I had it do over again, but I used a four and a half inch Makita battery operated uh, grinder, uh, side grinder. But anyhow, we'll see if I go forward with very much on uh, whether I you know, put the video up, but I've kind of been slacking on my video uh, progress, so I don't know I will. But if I do, maybe I can help you out.